This week, I camped at Black River Wild Forest. It was about a 1.5 mile hike to my campsite at the lean-to. The walk to the campsite was easy, but before I could relax, I had to take care of some camp chores. I had to process all the firewood so I could make dinner later that night. I never usually eat ramen noodles, but something about being in the woods makes that sound appealing. The weather was gorgeous with blue skies and warm water. However, the daylight was running out, and it gets loud at sundown. The wild loons call out throughout the night. Dawn. That morning was especially misty. I jumped out of my sleeping bag after a wonderful sleep with the excitement of a child. Just watching the mist swirl around, then melt away. The sun rose directly across from my lean-to, beaming golden light straight into my campsite. I had big plans to explore the surrounding areas today, but first, I had to go for a quick dip in the lake. The first stop after I left my campsite was an old fire tower on a smaller mountain outside of Old Forge. I then headed deeper into the mountains to visit the abandoned iron smelter in Tahaz. The structure looks like some ancient Aztec temple hidden deep in the forest. The structure has been abandoned for at least a hundred years, and now there are trees and vegetation growing all over it. Old machinery and stonework are scattered around the area. There used to be a whole town here, centered around iron smelting. Next to the ghost town lies the headwaters of the Hudson River. It's only about a foot deep here, barely even a creek. I guess big things sometimes start small. But now, like the winding river, I had to make my way home to lower elevations.